the other day I got a question in my Facebook group. It was from Amy. And Amy said, uh, Sunny, hope you're doing well. I was wondering <clears throat> whether you would be able to do a video explaining the illusion of time in relation to self-inquiry. On an intellectual level, I know that time is an illusion, but mind obviously finds this construct far too in interesting to let go of. I'm interested to see your take on it. And today, that's what I want to cover. But I don't just want to tell you, oh, time is not real, or explain to you why time is not real. I actually want, you, want to kind of construct this video in a way where I'm walking you into the realization, not of what is not real, but instead of what is real and what is timeless, changeless. Okay? And for this, <laughs> I want to use this one photo of myself that I recovered a couple of weeks ago, I think a week or two ago, but I actually made a different video about this too. Um, but here, I'm going to put this video, I mean, this picture up on the screen right now. And it's actually even embarrassing to share this. Okay, but I'm going to do it right now. So take a look at this photo. This is me in, I believe, 10th grade. So I want to, I want you to see that world, right? This photo is just a photo right now, but this, what is contained within this photo is an entire world, you can say. An entire different configuration of what I considered myself to be, what I was identified with, identified as. That experience, what you're seeing in the photo right now, is a completely different body, right? It is a completely different set of belief systems, it is a completely different personality. It is a completely different external experience than what currently is in my experience. A completely different body looks entirely different, right? Some similarities, but entirely new, entirely different. An entirely different belief system, an entirely different personality, an entirely different external reality, an entirely different set of emotions and sensations that are occurring. These are two worlds that you're experiencing, right? That you're seeing right now. There is only two similarities, really one, but broken off into two similarities between this time and that time. What are these similarities? Right now, whatever currently is existing, the body that I currently have, the, the beliefs and the thoughts that are currently here, the external situations that are currently here, are experienced as the now, in the now. Just like that, that world, that set of circumstances, that body, that belief system, that personality, was also felt at, and experienced as the now. And the second similarity is that this experience, what is currently here, is experienced through the sense me. It is experienced as me, my experience. And that experience, that, that body, that belief system, everything that was also felt and experienced through me as me whereas now right like this one looking back at that one is like how can that be me like you know you look back at your old photos you're like oh my god i'm so embarrassed of my hairstyle i'm so who what was i thinking like what was i believing back in the day i was so stupid and all that stuff but it's like during like when that was the experience it so intimately felt mine it, this is me this is what I am, this is who I am, and it is now. And, and that's how you currently feel with what you currently look like and feel like and believe and think. Right now you believe, oh, this is me. This is what I, this, these are my thoughts, my emotions, my body, this is me. So all this stuff that is constantly changing, right? The only thing that never changes, let's put that, let's set that foundation. Everything changes. All these appearances, everything that is perceived is constantly changing. 
the only thing that remains constant is now and me. This me actually is what is felt as the now. I know I said two things, but these things are actually one, and we'll get deeper into that in a second. Right now, I want you to just take a second to yourself and actually, you know, see this for yourself. Come into this moment, right? Bring your attention here and just recognize how this experience, this current experience that you're having has a sense, a deep sense of aliveness, a deep sense of meanness, a deep sense of nowness. Right? And the same sense of presence, the same sense of aliveness was also in, in that, like the, the photo world, right? That, that world, at, that, at one time, this presence, this aliveness is what you felt with those appearances and images and sensations and perceptions. But now, in, like in the now, right now, that has no existence. It's almost like it never existed. If this photo, right, the one that I put up on the screen, if this one didn't exist, this, this would not have any existence whatsoever at all. It would just be maybe a memory at, at most, right? You don't even remember all of everything, but it, it, like if I, if I did remember this, it would just be a memory in this moment. It would still be a memory in this moment. And how would it arise? It would arise as thought. Memory is mind. It would arise as a thought of a, a previous time. But ultimately, it has no existence whatsoever, almost like it didn't even exist. And what is currently experienced as my world, as me, soon will also cease to be existent completely. Just because it's replaced with something very, very similar, right? There's a sense of continuity and like something that's moving along. But look at it like everything's constantly being replaced, constantly coming and going. And soon what you're currently experiencing as me will also just be gone completely, non-existent, other than a memory. The only thing that will stay with you is that it will still be the now and it will still feel like me. But notice when you actually come into here, right? Like just be here and just notice this sense of now. In the now, all that exists is the now. The moment a memory comes up, that is when time is felt. That is when now there is a past. And because there is a past, now there's also a future. But it, let's just say you disengage with this thought and you simply just come back here. Be here. Keep your attention here. Again, all that exists is simply the now. And me, the me is always felt only in the now. And then another thought arises, and this is usually of past and future. So, Amy, when you said, on an intellectual level, I know this, that, I know that time is an illusion, but mind obviously finds this construct way too, uh, far too interesting to let go of. That is quite literally because time only exists in mind. Time only exists as, a fo as thought. When thought arises, that is when time is sensed. M time only exists for this one, the one that is perceived, right? The, the me that I put up as a photo, that is what I thought I was. That is, that is what so deeply felt as me. But like eventually, right? Like because the images are constantly just rearranging themselves, I recognize, okay, that is not me. Now this feels like me, but ultimately even this will pass. And this is not even me. 
there's an, a deeper underlying me which is constantly imbuing these different images with a, a sense of me, with a sense of I am. But ultimately, I am not any of these images that I perceive. I am that which never changes. The self, awareness. All this changes. And time only exists for the one that is perceived. This, this body, this idea I have of myself, this identity, Sunny. Time only exists for Sunny looking right in this mental identity projecting more thoughts and as soon as thought comes in there's past there's future but if i simply disengage from that for now and just let go of thought disengage from all thought and just be here present all that will be really felt is the now and me me being in the now That deeper, true self acknowledging itself. The presence that never leaves. The only truth that remains changeless and is timeless. It is timeless, therefore it is eternal. And as soon as another thought arises, again, now there's a perception of time. So you can say, is that time is what eternity, self, looks like when interpreted through the mind, when looked at through the perspective of mind. I'll say that again. Time is what eternity looks like, is what the eternal now looks like when interpreted through the mind. And your mind, as you said, will never let go of this. It will never understand it because mind is the reason you keep falling into time. And again, what falls into time? For whom does time exist? It, it exists for this one, the body-mind complex that you believe yourself to be. But as I just kind of proved with my photo and this example, right? This one is constantly changing. I look back at that and it's like, that cannot be me. But soon, I will look back at this one and say, damn, I cannot, that cannot be me. We just take this as like a, as a fact, oh, that was me and this was, you know? So it's like, what me really is referring to is something deeper than just these images that are appearing. And that is the whole point. So you said you wanted to know about how does time not exist from the in relation to self-inquiry when you're truly practicing self-inquiry investigating your true nature what is this me that is aware of this thought that is aware of this experience as soon as you turn your attention to me you automatically become present here and now you fall out of this perspective, the identity, and you automatically shift and recognize your own self as yourself. In the beginning, you won't know. <laughs> In the beginning, this recognition won't happen. It just feels like, oh, I'm being, being present. But ultimately, what is being present? What is aware of awareness? It is awareness, self, that is aware of awareness. It is not sunny mind that is aware of awareness. Sunny doesn't have a capacity for awareness. This body, this mind does not have any awareness. This body mind is not the operator of awareness, the controller of awareness. This body mind are just images, thoughts, sensations, perceptions that you are aware of. What are you that you are aware of this? You are awareness the true self, what you always experience as me. So even in this very moment, this me sense that you get in this experience, that you're living this experience through, this me is not just Amy or Sunny, this body-mind. These are constantly changing. 
These are, you can say, images within me, within the now. What me really is, is this awareness with which you know all of these changing things. And this awareness, where is it? It is now. Have you ever been aware of something called the past? Have you ever been aware of, have you ever actually experienced with your own awareness the past? And don't just like, you know, uh, disregard this question, actually see for yourself. Have you ever experienced the past? Have you ever experienced the future? Even when past and future arise, they arise as simply a thought in this moment, in the now. They are experienced in now. And they exist in mind, only for mind. The moment we step into mind, the moment mind comes in, there is time. The, the moment you let go of time, the, the, the moment that you let go of mind, you step into eternity. What steps into eternity? Not sunny, but awareness, recognizing itself, that it, had, it never left eternity. So see this for yourself. Let this actually sink in that like there's this presence here in this moment. And that is why we always say that this awareness, this presence is the only truth, is the only reality. Because everything else is temporary, is phenomenal. It comes and goes. It is changeful. So start to turn your attention away from what's phenomenal. Images, thoughts, sensations, perceptions, emotions. Turn your attention away from what's phenomenal to what is changeless and what is underlying every experience that you've ever had. Awareness, presence. Be here now. And the more you keep your attention here, the more time will fall away. The more the illusion will start to fall away. And life will be seen from a truer place as it is. Let this sink in. Go look at an old photo of yours and see how this was experienced as me. This, there was this aliveness in this experience, but now it's just... The, it doesn't even exist. Those bunch of images and sensations and perceptions, they don't even exist. Where'd they go? Where did this come from? Soon this will subside as well, replaced by other images. Don't just lose yourself in the play of images. This is going to go on all your life. You have a greater opportunity if you're watching this video right now. Wake up to what is truly changeless. This presence that is illuminating this experience right now. And when all this stuff rearranges itself, then the present is going to be illuminating another set of phenomenal images and everything. And you may say, oh, but they're moving, so they're, that's time. No. It is always here. It is always now. When you can... <laughs> Find when you, you when you experience the past or future, you let me know in the comments. <laughs> so let this sink in. Practice this. Now, if you want to go deeper on this and you want to go deeper into your true nature and recognizing yourself as that one, watch my free masterclass. I just created a new one. I'm going to launch it very soon, but you get a sneak peek. I'm going to be launching it for the greater audience, but for whoever sees this video, I haven't fully announced it yet. So whoever sees this video, watch it. It's called the Ego to Presence Masterclass, and it's for the launch of my new program, The Higher Consciousness Shift, which also, if you want to work with me, um, the link for that is down there below. So all the details are in the description. Watch the masterclass. It's one hour long, packed with value. So only ones who are watching this video until the end, 
Let me know if, who you are in the comment section below. If you're watching this video till the end, you're going to get to know. But I haven't officially announced this masterclass yet, okay? Packed with value. Let me know what you think of it. But I hope this video added value to you and really cleared up this illusion of time. But hearing it won't really do much. I hope to kind of I hope I actually aided you into that realization right now. However, now let this sink in and go do this inquiry for yourself. What is this that is always feeling like the now? What is this that is always feeling like me? Take a look at it. Okay? So do that today. Hope you have a great day. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And I will see you next time.